Planet Dolan. From why we have fears to why don't girls have beards, we answer some of your most burning questions about life. Hey there, my name is Melissa. I'll be reading out the questions and answers. I'm Danger Dolan, and I'm here to blow your mind with truth. Lucky Gal asks, is it possible that there is a secret civilization on Earth? Possible? It's for certain. I mean, look at Chima and Melissa. What kind of animal can talk and has pink fur? Illuminati. I mean, look at Pringle. What even is he? Seriously, what's the thing he's doing with his head? His fingers are literally Twinkies. Well, there's no concrete evidence for a secret civilization on Earth, but there are real secret societies. You may have heard of the Illuminati, who used to exist in Germany, and they wished for a unified world government. But either they're really good at hiding, or they haven't existed since the 1800s. Lizzie Busy Beta asks, was there anything else here before the Big Bang? Most people don't know this, but before everything, there were sentient hats just floating around space-time. But they weren't very happy since they had no one to wear them. This just isn't working! I'm done with this, with a capital D. Done. There's a lot of theories behind what might have been around before the Big Bang, but the theory I like the most is eternal inflation. Basically, this theory supposes that instead of one Big Bang, there are an infinite amount of them going off every second, making universes with every possible law of physics. Yeah, that's cool and all, but what if there were infinity plus one universes? So, infinity? No, infinity plus one. You don't listen. Almighty Doggy asks, what caused the great dying extinction? Smoking them cigarettes. Give me that hell bent. This thing's gonna kill ya. Look, I'm doing this for your own good, alright? Well, jeez, that was needlessly aggressive. We don't actually know what caused this particular extinction event to happen, but there are some working theories such as a bunch of volcanoes going off, a nearby supernova, an asteroid, like the dinosaur extinction event, or environmental changes caused by the formation of Pangaea. Roxy's Nima asks, what's the hangy thing in her throat? Oh, it's great. You just need to stretch it out and then carefully plug it into the computer like this, and then you can download whatever you want right into your brain. This is how I get all my highly accurate information for these videos. I use this complicated thing called Wikipedia. It's called the Palatine Uvula, or just the uvula for short, and it's there to help people talk by providing lubrication. We may find that it does more things for us in the future, but for now, that's all we know about it. That sounds made up. Next time, you should use Wikipedia. Dolan, have you thought about using more than one source for all your information? And have you checked the wiki entry on you lately? Hey, Wikipedia never lies. If it says I'm a stinky poop face, then I am proud to be a stinky poop face. Lonely Oblivion asks, why don't females grow facial hair? Because most women tell their face not to. It's a highly delicate topic though, and it's best not to discuss it with... Back in my face, I'm serious, get back! I... I... I, I don't want to know. I, nah, I'm good. Just, no, nah, no. Nah. Basically, it's because of hormones. But if you're wondering why in a more metaphoric sense, it's probably because human males need more thermal protection as they were the ones hunting for multiple days, whereas females gathered plants and could return home every night. About the other day. No. Okay, yeah, okay. Virus Quick Scopper XX asks, is it possible for us to move planets light years away using wormholes or black holes? We could be in another galaxy right now, but in order to do that, we need to complete an impossible feat. Solve a Rubik's Cube without swapping the stickers around. Then, and only then, can we visit the magical faraway undiscovered planet of China. Well, black holes will crush and kill you pretty horrifically. But wormholes may let us go to faraway places in a very short amount of time. The only problem is, in order to create them and keep them open, we need a type of matter that we don't think exists. Puppy Power Elite asks, why do we have fears? Because you need to grow a pair. That's all I got.
Well, without fear, we do silly things like take candy from strangers, jump off tall buildings, and snap hellbent cigarettes. So really, we evolved to develop fear because if we didn't, then we wouldn't live nearly as long. Why isn't there mouse-flavored cat food? You know, that's a really good question. The real question is why do cats and birds like eating cute, adorable, harmless little mice? We don't eat them. What are you talking about? We just give them a nice home in our stomachs. They seem to like it in there. I mean, never heard any complaints or anything. Well, for some reason, the evil human masters that control house cats find the idea of mouse-flavored food gross, so they never buy it for their cute kitties. But it's mostly because in some areas of the world, selling mouse meat is illegal. IA1439 asks, Is it possible that aliens are looking for us? Looking for us? They found us! I asked Pringle the other day what he thought of all of us on Earth. It was interesting. He looked at me for a moment, he gave a big sigh, and then he grimaced for about an hour. It was uncomfortable for a prolonged period of time. Yes, it's entirely possible. But unfortunately, we have no evidence of them doing so. But just in case they are, we have SETI, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, looking for their messages with giant radio dishes. King Sexy Stud Kitty asks, what would happen if someone injected straight black coffee in their bloodstream? Nothing much. I mean, anything you put in your mouth can't do any bad stuff in your blood. Look. See, I'm completely fine. Although I wish I drank it, since I don't even feel a buzz. This is lame. <laughs> well, if you're not whatever Dolan is, you almost certainly die as one person found out when a student nurse injected coffee into their veins. But some forms of hard drugs will be injected with coffee grains. This is neither very smart, nor recommended. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Have